Whoa, Reject Nation, it's Greg Alba here. Huh, and it's John here. John's officially moved in, return of the red couch, back to the living room. Yay! Insidious, the last key. Oh. Not Insidious Chapter 4, this is a prequel. Chapter point five. Let's do this. Why beat around the tushy anymore? I like the eye, man. Yeah. It's a keyhole. 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 It's cool. I'm a slightly confused. I remember we read the plot synopsis yesterday, and it said that it was uh, set before the events of the first couple Insidious movies. This still looks like a sequel that's going where she's going to be going back to her roots to put an end to something that occurred before the first Insidious movies. Yeah. That's what I gathered from it. I mean, they even showed like images of the first Insidious for a brief moment. Yeah, and, and then she's the saying how she needs to go even like further into the further. Deeper into the further, <laughs> you know? That's what it looked like to me. I would have taken this as a part four that's going back to, it's like sort of hybrid prequel in a way. Yeah, well, I feel like at a certain point it might not even matter, you know, because it's just all different paranormal cases that Elise has taken on. I think it looks really solid. And before when I would hear like January release, I would be like, uh, I don't know about this. But I feel like the past couple of years, We've been getting some pretty damn good uh, horror movies that are January releases from Blumhouse. You know, they split and get out were January, February this past year. And so. and then uh, the year before was the visit. Yeah. So yeah, I, I feel like that uh, January is not a terrible month anymore, at least for Blumhouse's horror films. Well, yeah, now they're smart. They know like it's a sparse month. We can clean up, you know. Yeah. We put a good movie in there. The cinematography looks great. I know this is a different director this time around, Adam Robitel. Yeah, the guy who did the taking of Deborah Logan. Yeah. yeah, and it, I think it looks pretty good. The effects look awesome. It looks like it's going to go crazier with its ghost effects. And like that room where it was just a bunch of ghosts coming out of the, like, yeah. their like, prison, like prison cells. cells. So, yeah, that was intense. And I like the uh, effects of the key finger, uh, whatever that is. It's like it's holding the key to something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what I love. Is, like That's what I love about the Insidious movies. And that's what gives them their flavor to me is that sort of like fun house 
vibe, the designs and the world and stuff like that. I always imagine like The Conjuring is a bit more down to earth in its ghost story vibe, at least as of yet. Yeah. Uh, but these like, you know, the imagination is part of what draws me in. And I love having Elise Tucker and Specs as kind of the central characters who guide us through this. But yeah, like the ghost with the key fingers, it's so eerie and it's so kind yeah. of gothic and stuff like that. You know, seeing the, the further, the extended reaches of the further, part of me worries a little bit because I'm like, you know, how, how big are we going to make this? Yeah. And, you know, well, what are the rules going to be? I always worry that it's going to fall off the tracks a little bit. But, you know, at least the images we saw here look super chilling and, and intriguing and stuff like that. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's a more personal story for Elise this time around, too. Yeah, it seems like it's got everything the Insidious movies, all the earmarks, you know, all yeah. the designs and all the unique ghost things you know, things and, oh, yeah. and, you know, the personal story with Elise and all that. When I first heard about, you know, Insidious 4, I was thinking, like, does anyone really care about this? And now I'm watching the trailer, I'm like, I care about it. I, 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 I want to check this out. This looks like a, it could be a pretty damn good horror movie. Yeah, I've got goodwill towards the first three. And oddly, like, I, now I just wonder what the other plot of this movie is with that woman. And it has to be a prequel. What am I talking about? Because <laughs> Elise dies in the first one. Yeah. In case I ruin that for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It to be at least a little bit. That's yeah. why I wonder where it falls in relation I totally to forgot. Movie. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> as long as I've been like, I'm confused. <laughs> and, uh, well, they yeah. could make a sequel if they wanted to, because didn't they do that thing in... in uh, she comes back in part two the in the second further. one as yeah. a ghost. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, disregard anything I said prior to that. <laughs> Living Elise. I feel like every other Insidious movie should be about a live Elise, and every other Insidious movie should be about dead Elise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hey, you hey. can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Follow Dat John Humphrey on Instagram and Twitter. Of course, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Real Rejects. Become a patron eject today, my friends. Come cuddle with us. It's a lot of fun. Peace. We'll write you a letter.